You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm gonna be playing uh, a Fega? No, that can't be. I thought this game was called Ground Storm or something. Anyway, you saw the title screen. Well, maybe it's a uh, region difference, I guess. And uh, 1998. And I obviously, uh, honestly, I. I've never heard of this, so this is honestly my first time seeing this. Hmm. It's Goku, I suppose. Flying on a cloud with the funky hair. That's nice, you actually have this charge attack that you can continuously use, it's not limited. Although you can't control where it's aiming though. I suppose that's a uh, nice things about um, emulation. I know some people are against it, but sometimes it's really just the only way to be able to play these games because they're out of print or I mean you don't see arcades anymore. How do you how would you even want to play this legitimately when there's no home release or there's no arcade to pull uh, one hit Alright, using my bombs. Okay, now it's moving fast. it continues where you left off. So, uh, um, I'd like to hear from you guys. Um, how, how is this game? Is it uh, well known? Um, maybe I'm just Oh, the only one who doesn't really know about it. This is really the first time I'm seeing all this. And uh, I don't know if it, how popular it is. It came out in uh, 1998, according to the title screen, so... Bullet Hell shooters were already a thing. Yeah, I've... Uh, been to some arcades before. I mean, I've been to a lot of arcades before, and I've never really seen this. 1998, I guess. The arcades are populated with mostly fighting games. If it's not a fighting game, it's probably some driving game or a beat em up game. almost like a bullet hell already. It's not quite as uh, screen filling as the others. 
but it has tendencies. Sound effect is kind of annoying there. Might as well use the charging charge up shot. it's quite it doesn't like bring you to like a checkpoint or start of the stage when you die I really like games like those and uh, yeah this game looks like it can do two players so if you have uh, another controller that you can use that should be fun one left. And that's it. Quite a lengthy stage there. Okay, but I think that should be it for this video. And this is, um, well, the title screen says it's Alfega. And you're watching 8-bit days a week. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.